Okay, so I'm Yannick Skarnone, I'm the owner of Fermentings. Uh, what we do, in fact, we opened uh, two years ago uh, a shop first about fermentation, uh, but it wasn't the right way that we were feeling that we wanted to work around fermentation. We stopped a bit the shop and uh, we started thinking what we wanted to bring uh, around fermentation and we met, in fact, uh, the people from La Source who were wanting to create a brew pub and uh, a place where people could meet, could talk about beers, but also could uh, do other stuff and that's where we came in and started to rethink uh, fermentings as uh, a real place of education for fermentation. Uh, so what we have now, we have three working tables where we do courses uh, every week, one or two courses on kimchi, on uh, lacto-fermentation, hot sauces, kombucha, what there is in, uh, in the fermented community and then uh, we still have a shop but smaller uh, in fact, with the idea to be more uh, selective and uh, true towards that we know almost every of the, of the producers. Uh, we try to meet them, we try to learn about their philosophy and bring it then with uh, the product. So we, so we made a smaller range of uh, some of our beers and chose people that we like to work with. Same thing with uh, the ciders, with the natural wines. And even now we have uh, met one of the sake brewers uh, that we import. So it's becoming really much more in contact with each of our uh, producers. And uh, here you can see a couple uh, in front of us, a couple of what we do as ferments. It goes from uh, the salsa uh, sauce, uh, that's uh, tomatoes fermented for five days, uh, towards the hot sauces with pumpkin, because it was the season some uh, miso uh, that we made with uh, old bread uh, with the idea also to be circular. In fact, most of our tests uh, when we are preparing for a course or to produce for our own uh, events, uh, we get it from the uh, unsold uh, things from the markets just behind us. Uh, and it's that way also that we want to bring into fermentation is to see it as a way to even go less waste almost zero waste uh, in that way and that we try to teach in every of the of the courses and in the way that we uh, we organize our, our space. What's your background and what got you into fermenting? Uh, I'm in fact uh, I, my studies were around social cultural fields a mix of philosophy and psychology uh, I did a year of engineering uh, but I was always next to it really um, uh, passionate about food in general and then with a friend, we started following brew classes. Uh, to, we wanted first to become brewers, but at that time we saw, okay, there is really a lot of brewers already in Brussels. We don't have that touch or vision about brewing. And we started reading more about the ciders, the uh, meads, uh, and other ferments, from, especially from the uh, American uh, uh, literature around fermentation. And we said, okay, Nobody else is doing something about fermentation in a broader way, so let's go towards that. I, did, I started to do a lot of lacto-fermentation from there out, and I was much more comfortable and uh, I had much more ideas doing that. And so after the, the, the years of study of brewery, I never touched again uh, one, I, uh, one brew, but I did all the rest uh, that's possible to mix uh, with it. What kind of uh, collaborations do you foresee with La Source being so close? Do you see brewing or bringing some of the techniques or the, the kind of ingredients you use? So we do, uh, for, for example, for the opening today, we created four dishes that go with each uh, with the beer. So they, we did the beer pairing or we worked with his beers towards, uh, uh, like for example, a tsukemono with uh, his grit, uh, grut beer uh, in it. Uh, that's one way we're going to do. Then the salsa are our test to have that in his brew pub as a snack. Uh, so we're going to create big pots that will be laid, laid around uh, in the space and showing, in fact, that all the food is also fermented in the way that the beer, uh, the beer is. Uh, and then we, we do um, more exchanges of ideas. Uh, we're looking into doing cold press on nitro uh, too for, his, uh, for the brew pub. And that's where I can bring all my experimentation, and he has the installation to, uh, to bring it. So that's a bit the idea.
Excellent. Thanks. Cool. Let me uh, take some.